All right, you've already seen the title and thumbnail. You clicked on it. Let me show you how I did it. Way, way back before I ever started uploading my own content, I saw a video by YouTube royalty Colin Furs where he set an official land speed record at 53 miles an hour on a baby stroller. And even back then, I thought this would be an amazing record to try to take a stab at one day. And now that I'm kind of like a YouTuber, I feel like now's the time. So this is my stroller. It's made by a company named Bob who claim it's a sport utility stroller, which basically means it's for jogging, an activity that I don't participate in or enjoy. Everything about this screams speed to me, so that should make it a great candidate it for going fast without a ton of modifications, right? Now, using only AI, let me give you a rundown of my plans. First, we're gonna remove the baggage carrier because we've gotta make room for a solid rear axle and an engine. Next, we'll be adding some sort of bicycle handle for steering. This stroller comes with 16 inch pneumatic tires, but the hubs and spokes are plastic, so we'll swap those out for metal ones. Gotta remove this sunshade because it's just in the way, then add some basic support for rigidity. Beautiful. Let's start removing superfluous pieces. Yo. Ooh. Innovation's inevitable in projects like this. I was focusing my attention on developing an engine mount that would simultaneously integrate the axle carrier while at the same time unifying and giving structure to the body. I call it a unibody. But at this point I realized the tubing of the stroller was made of aluminum and not steel like I thought. I don't know how to weld aluminum. I'm thinking I'm just gonna have to bolt this to this. I don't really like that idea, but I don't know what else to do. So my basic structure for the uh, for the engine is kind of done. Right now it's only bolted on here and here, which is not going to give it much. So we're going to weld up something between here and here, make it nice and strong. Nice. This is the highest center of gravity fast thing I have ever built. It makes me a little nervous about flipping over. It wouldn't be a first, but now's not the time for fear. That comes later. Hot. I'm replacing the three plastic wheels with three metal ones I got off of $10 bikes from Facebook Marketplace. These things are cheaply made and that's a risk I need to factor into my testing. But one factor you don't have to worry about is today's sponsor, Factor. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. As a YouTuber who uploads four, even five videos a year, you can imagine I have very little free time. But with Factor, I can choose from over 34 chef prepared meals that are easily ready in two minutes. When I say it's convenient, right now it's 112 degrees in Texas. Just warming it up on the hood of my car. I'm gonna go off script here and say I have yet to find one that wasn't absolutely delicious. Today's choice, spicy poblano beef bowl. You can even level up with gourmet plus options with premium ingredients like broccolini, leeks, truffle butter, and asparagus. If your schedule is unpredictable like me, Factor's flexible. You can easily adjust your order size and even skip a week if you're out of town. If quality nutrition is something you want, but time isn't something you have, Factor has you covered. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code ChrisRollins50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. All right, let's see how she rolls. Uh, very wobbly. Gosh. That little 50 yard run filled me with a lot of anti-confidence. Step one, I, I think, is to add a little bit more rake. Something like that. All right, let's see if that did anything, shall we? It's a little better, but not great. The frame is now 100% rigid. It just confirms my suspicion that what I'm feeling is wheel flex. The weight and center of gravity is very high, and the smallest inputs from the handlebars are putting lateral load on these cheap wheels, which they're just not designed for. So in the spirit of self-preservation, we're switching over to the go-kart tires, even though I know it's the less exciting option. But here's the deal, you guys don't need me, but my wife and kids do. So being alive at the end of this is very high on the priority list. Oh my gosh, night and day difference. I'm not happy with the look, but this was definitely the right choice. All right, with that finally out of the way, we're moving on to the engine situation. I have a small channel that operates almost exclusively in the red. So to save money I don't have, I'm gonna borrow the engine from the world's fastest trash can so that my kids can eat this month. By this point, I was coming up on my upload deadline and I had just enough time to paint it and take it for a single test drive because the brakes snapped off. I was able to fix it, but this, this is a bad sign for my welding. Take a note, when you don't know what you're doing, all directions are uphill. 
And I mean that kind of literally because we're headed straight into our first record breaking attempt going up a hill I'm calling Devil's Backbone because it sounds simultaneously scarier and cooler than just saying a hill by my house. Moving forward, I would like to maintain a one smart decision per video quota. In this instance, I'm hoping that by going uphill in a poorly tested machine should something else break off, gravity's gonna bring me to a more pleasant stop than say, a tree might. And I'm aware of the irony of saying this while sitting in a stroller trying to break 53 miles an hour. Incredible! 58! <laughs> 58 uphill! If she can do this uphill, we've got tons more speed. Did it feel stable? One of the scariest things I've driven. This is a new level of sketchy. Let's let's quickly back up and take it over to the flat road, see what she'll do before I lose my nerve, okay? You like that? It's my accent piece. Couldn't I couldn't bring myself to take it off. My confidence is back a little bit. Still stupid, but my confidence is back a little bit. We're gonna navigate easy through these two turns and we're gonna sit it. The vibration is wild. It does not like the turn. I can feel it when I get up on two wheels. Alright, there we go. Full throttle. What? What? <laughs> 67 in a stroller. That is so stupid. <laughs> you did it. Oh my gosh. You guys have very sweetly pointed out to me that I have made one, maybe two really dumb decisions on this channel in the past. And since the trash can incident, I've been, I've been really working on learning when to stop. However, I installed two different size sprockets on the sprocket carrier, 60 tooth that I'm using now, and a 57. It's just slightly taller. We are so close to 70. So I want to switch over to the 57 and see if there was enough torque in this engine to hit an even 70 miles an hour. It's not as torquey. The gear is definitely taller. Doesn't feel like it's got as much juice. Oh, here we go. just at the peak of the power. Something changed on that run. The vibration is, is different. It's a lot more violent. Um, it's actually hurting my feet and my hands. I think the smart thing to do, stop while we're ahead. Yeah, we've set the bar pretty good. We're all getting knobs here. I, I wanna ask a favor. Uh, if you're watching this and you think that you can build a faster stroller, please do it. That's not arrogance. I wanna make this one a lot faster and I need to be able to justify that to my wife. I got a ton of room left over for a bigger engine. <laughs> and I've already bought it. <laughs>